Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another floor video. This is a video I've actually been wanting to do for years now and it's swatching all my red lipsticks. So originally I thought I was going to do like a lip swatch video and then as I was gathering all my red lipsticks, which are in this box, I was like, what was I thinking? Like, first of all, that would take me like three hours to film and my lips would probably never be the same. So instead, what I thought I would do is just like swatch them on my arm, I guess. And yeah, I don't know, even then it's a lot. So I have makeup wipes that I got in a boxy charm. At least I will find a use for them. Um, and yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I don't know if this is gonna be like a declutter or what's gonna happen, but I feel like I definitely don't need all of these. And there are like variations of red, like there's like true reds, there's like these like more deeper kind of reds, there's like orangey reds. But there's no like pinks, so that's even another category I have. This is really just red tones and I have so many of them. I'm sure a lot of them are overlapping. A lot of these are really old as well, so I might not even be able to use them. Um, yeah, I just... I clearly need to like pare this down and after doing my makeup inventory video I realized like I have way too many lip products and I don't even wear a lot of red lipstick anymore and when I do I feel like I have a very specific tone of red that's my favorite so I don't even know why I have all of these so let's just get started and I think what I'm gonna do first is like arrange these in like tight like lip gloss lipstick liquid lipstick kind of thing so let's do that Okay, I think this is all the liquid lipsticks and let me zoom you in. And um, these include like liquefied liquid lipsticks, like ones that don't dry down and also ones that do dry down. And I don't know, this one for example from YSL is called a matte stain. So I don't know, just these kind of liquid lipstick things. So this is like the biggest category, it seems. So where do I even begin? <laughs> um, I don't know. This won't be in any order. So this one is just a little mini, as you can see. This is the Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade VIP. So let's see. This looks like a nice true red. And I think it's dried out. <laughs> Or is it supposed to be like that? This is like a more um, kind of like those powdery finish ones. Actually, it's like the Too Faced Peach Puff. So let me see this one next to it. Where like it's not really full on pigment. It's like... How do you explain that? Like a powder finish. Like a... I don't know. <laughs> that, so that's the Too Faced one, and that's the Bare Minerals. Uh, these Too Faced ones are called Diffused Matte Lip Color. And I feel like this is very similar. Matte Liquid Lip Color and Diffused. I will say this Bare Minerals one felt really dry but I mean so does a Too Faced one because that's just the kind of formula it is. Do these look exactly the same to you? I'm <laughs> I feel like the Too Faced one is like a brighter almost like pinkier red and this one's more like a true red. 
I feel like I probably don't need both. But, the, but again, this one is just a little mini and I could probably use it up. Oh, this is probably going to be difficult. So let's put those two aside. Yeah, I was, that's not what I was expecting from the Bare Minerals one. I thought it was going to be like a liquid lipstick. Uh, this one from Dose of Colors is called Kiss of Fire. Ooh, this one looks like my kind of red. Yes. This like very bright red, blue red, I guess you would say. I really like this one, so I'm keeping that for sure. I also have this one though. And I remember these came in boxy charms like a month apart and I was like, why are you sending me the same thing again? But this one is actually called Date Night. So it's a different shade. It looks like a deeper red. Yeah. So that's date night you can see the difference um but i th i really like how this one feels too i'm gonna keep that one and i heard like these i've tried these before but i clearly don't remember anything about them but dose of colors liquid lipsticks are like people's favorite so i think i'm gonna keep those for sure um then i have this Too faced melted matte liquefied matte longwear lipstick in gingerbread man this is more like a brown red yeah so honestly i'm not maybe this shouldn't even be in this video because that's truly like brown especially compared to these other ones and i really like this one so i'm keeping it anyway but i also have a Too faced Melted Matte in Cinnamon Bear. So this one is more of a red. Oh, that's, that's pretty. This one here, still more like on the brown side than the Dose of Colors one. I really like this and I love the packaging. <laughs> Uh, let's keep that aside. This one from Stila, I don't think I've ever used. It's a Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in... Oh my god, I'm already getting lipstick everywhere. Um, this is the shade Rubino. Ooh, okay, that's like a very, very deep red. So that's totally different and it feels nice. And then I have Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick in Leo. I'm probably not getting rid of this because Josh bought it for me and I was like super shocked that he even knew what Kylie was. <laughs> I also have the lip liner because it was like in a lip kit. Um, but I think she reformulated these, right? So this is like very old. That's Leo. That's like a really nice, I mean, it kind of looks like the Stila one, but maybe has like a bit more purple in it. I mean, do I need both of these? Probably not. Then this one is from Half Caked. This is the shade Bordeaux. This was in my Shop My Stash, but I never reached for it because I didn't have an opportunity to wear a red but that's what that one looks like. That's really nice too. <laughs> uh, these Smashbox ones are called uh, the Be Legendary Liquid Pigments. So these are really like lip gloss, but they're so pigmented that I include them in the liquid lipstick category. So this one is called Brick Trick. So I'm assuming it's going to be like a brick red. That actually looks exactly like the Stila one, but this is, like I said, like more like a gloss formula. And the Stila is like a true liquid lipstick. But the shade is like almost exact. Or it is exactly the same. <laughs> oh dear. But these Smashbox ones are in like a little collector's box so I never get rid of them. Ugh. 
This is proving to be difficult. This is another one, but in like a different formula, this like uh, metallic one. This is the shade Crimson Chrome. Ooh, that is fun. Look at that. These like, I remember when metallic liquid lipsticks were like trending. These were like the only good ones because you can see like they are metallic, but not in like a super shimmery way. They just really, they look really nice um, on the lips. So I really like this one. I have another Stila Stay All Day in the shade Beso. This one's like a true blue tone red. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Look at that. This is like my favorite kind of red. I don't remember how I feel about the Stila formula though. I feel like it was good. I love that color. Um, this one, the KVD. Uh, oh, the sticker came off. I used to know what this was called, but I forgot. It's like the very, like the true red one. I don't remember right now. Oh, that's really pretty also. <laughs> and these like KVD ones, at least this like old formula when it was still like it said Kat Von D. Uh, the formulas on these were not consistent. Like some of them were super sticky and weird, but some were like really nice and smooth. And this feels like a really nice smooth one. Okay, I'll have to think about that. This one is an Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Havana Nights. I got this in a boxy charm and I believe it's dry. I don't know if it's supposed to be. This is another one that looks exactly like the Stila and the um, Smashbox one. It's like that brick red. This is very moussey and like dry, but the swatch looks fine. I know people really like these too, the Ofra ones. I just, I don't like getting rid of things that I've never tried myself. And like, cause what if it's amazing and it becomes my new favorite? <laughs> but yeah, that's not, nothing revolutionary is it? Um, this one, from Makeup Forever, these don't exist anymore and this is probably extremely old but then NYX came out with these and they were like really viral for a minute. These are like those liquid lipsticks where you put a sealant on top that makes them glossy but not transfer proof and I haven't had a chance to try it yet but this is the shade 19. So this is the liquid lipstick. Ooh, that looks really pretty. It almost has like a stain, like a glossy stain formula. I guess that's more like a pink than a red, but I actually have three of these and this one looked red compared to the other. So, okay, that's pretty. I'm keeping that. Even though they're discontinued, I just want to try it. It's very intriguing to me. This one looks beautiful and I believe I've tried this before in a video. The YSL Tatouage Couture Matte Stain in the shade 1. Oh yeah, this is going to be lovely. I love the applicator. Yes, this is like my favorite kind of red. It's like orangey leaning. That looks very beautiful. Yes. Keeping that. <laughs> this is a little sample I got from Ulta back when I was allowed to go to America. Um, this is the shade... I don't know. I don't know what shade this is, but it was the L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature something or other. 
it doesn't have much on it because it's just a little sample size and I think it came in like a carton kind of thing oh oh that looks really interesting this is a very strange applicator <gasps> that's really pretty <laughs> and that is so pigmented okay that's that's nice I'm keeping that I don't even know if those exist anymore but I just love how that felt. This is the Sephora Rouge Velouté. No, that's the French. <laughs> uh, cream Lip Stain in the shade 96. So I actually have the other red one in the Sephora. Oh, it's right here. So let's compare them. This looks more like a brick red. Oh, well, it still has like a brightness to it. These cream lip stains are a really great formula. If you want a liquid lipstick because you need something to last long but you don't usually like liquid lipstick formulas, this one is really good. Um, it just wears really nicely and it doesn't like, you know, suck all the moisture out of your lips. So this is the same formula but in the shade 01. Yeah, so this one's more like a blue tone red. I love that color. I wore this in my Project Pen finale from last year, and it was really nice. It looks a lot like this one, whatever that was. <laughs> oh dear, what have I done? See, now I'm not even going to remember. I think it was, I don't know. I don't know what that was. But I don't mind keeping these mini ones around because I can use them up faster whenever I reach for them. Um, this one is a Bite Beauty liquefied lipstick in the shade Flambe. I think I love this one. I believe I've worn it recently. Yeah, this is like that orangey red. And these are like um, not liquid lipsticks that dry down, so I really like them. They're very comfortable, but they don't make these anymore. But yeah, that's like almost orange. So I managed to fit all the liquid lipsticks on my hand here. And I mean, you can see they're not all the same. <laughs> Except for these two. The Stila and the Havana Nights from Ofra are exactly the same. But I don't know which formula I like better because I haven't used them. So I need to test them out. And these two, look, look how those are weird compared to the others. Like those are just stains really with like a blurring matte finish. I think I can get rid of the Bare Minerals one though because I know like this one is newer I'm pretty sure and it's a you know a full size it smells like peaches and I kind of love this little poof thing for some reason so I'd rather keep this one than this also do they even make this anymore Bare Minerals I don't well I guess they don't make the Too Faced one anymore either. <laughs> but yeah, I can pass this one on. These are not easy to take off. Whoa, whatever this one was, it's like not coming off at all. Look at this Stila one that's on there. Well, at least now I know the Stila one la like didn't come off as easily as the Ofra one, if that means anything. But again, I don't know how they feel on the lips, and I'd like to find that out. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I, I don't really like decluttering, like, and I don't feel like I need to declutter so much because obviously I'm not getting like PR or anything. Like these are all things that I've bought myself for the, like, well, at least like 99% of them. <laughs> so I don't wanna just, declutter them for the sake of it if you know what I mean anyway that was all the liquid lipsticks and I only <laughs> got 
cut rid of one of them. So I still have um, all of these. I still have all of these. But I'm okay with it for now. We'll just have to see how this goes. So I have 19 red liquid lipstick type things. So the rest, I have some glosses, uh, like a lip stain. This one from Physician's Formula, I don't remember if it's like a dry down or not. And this Urban Decay Lo-Fi, I didn't know how to really categorize that either. But let's look at these ones. This is from Aveda. It was in like a little like gift set for the holidays. It's a rehydrating lip glaze. I don't know. Oh, the shade is Nepali Berry. It has like a shimmer in it, if you can see that. I remember really liking this, but it's getting very old. Oh, it's so pretty though. <laughs> See how like nice and pigmented that is? And it's one of those that like, it doesn't look glittery on the lips. It just looks like very, very shiny. So I'm gonna keep that. Let's see what this Physician's Formula one is. I think they discontinued these, the Healthy Lip. Um, Cause I found this at Winners. It says Velvet Finish and the sticker came off. So I don't remember. The shade, I think it had something to do with two lips, but it was like two lips, like the number two, I think. But I do have another one, so maybe that was that. Anyway, <laughs> let's see this one. Oh, that's interesting. I see what they mean by velvet finish. It's kind of like the Too Faced Peach Puff, but more creamy. I don't know. I think I really like that. I, I feel like when I wore that before, I don't know if it was that one because I have two, but it was very comfortable on the lips. This is a Sephora Jelly Melt, which is very intriguing. I've worn this before. I really liked it. It's like a gloss, but a stain. Oh, it's so pretty. Keeping that. It also smells like candy and I just love it. I think these are on sale right now, so they're probably being discontinued, but if you like the sound of that, you can check that out. Um, and this weird thing, so these were like popular for like five seconds. The Urban Decay Lo-Fi Lip Mousses. This is the shade Frequency. So it's like in a pot, as you can see, but it's like a very interesting formula. It's another one of those like blurring kind of ones. I've never used this one. I have another one of these in like a more like mauve tone and I really love it. So these, when they went on sale, I bought this one and they came, come with like a little applicator in the thing. So you can like just pat them on the lips, which is what I do. Or like if you use the applicator, you make them more pigmented. But yeah, that is very pretty. But let me see compared to the Too Faced. Okay, the Too Faced one is more red. The frequency, the lo-fi one, is more orange. Yeah, they're different, so I'm keeping both. <laughs> so, everything else in this box, <laughs> including these two, because I just filmed something and I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. Um, but yeah, these are all lipsticks, and except for this NARS Cruella. Um, lip pencil, which I already decided I'm keeping because it's a really nice berry tone and I like this formula. Um, and then I was talking about how I'm never getting rid of this NARS Audacious lipstick because I've had it since before I even started watching 
makeup YouTube and it's beautiful. It's the shade Lana. It's like this nice orange red. So this used to be like my signature lip that I wore all the time because I didn't wear like any other makeup. <laughs> so it made sense to wear like a very bold lip. But these days like I don't reach for it because I'm always doing like an elaborate eyeshadow look. And then I don't feel like red lipstick goes with it. So, but this is beautiful. This is like my favorite lipstick ever. So I'm not getting rid of this. And it has amazing packaging. It's like a very strong magnet and it just feels like luxurious. So that's definitely not going anywhere. Um, let me get this. This is a ABH matte lipstick in the shade Ruby. I think this came in a Sephora Favorites set. It's very matte, like it tugs when you swipe it, but it's a beautiful color. So I'm keeping that one too. <laughs> this one is ancient and my mom gave this to me. I think she got it like a gift with purchase. It's the Estee Lauder pure color in the shade Nectarine Shimmer. It looks like this. It still smells good. It's very sheer. And it has like a sheen to it. I feel like it's different from everything else that I have in lipstick form, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> Plus if I remember correctly, I do like how it looks on my lips. Um, this one is from Makeup Forever. It's one of these like really interesting packaging ones. These are the Rouge Artist. Is that what they're called? Rouge Artist? That's all it says. In the shade Virtuous Goji. I wore this in a video and I really liked it. So with these you actually put the cap on the bottom and then you apply it like this and it honestly makes it so easy and I don't know I really like the like idea behind this um and this is the shade it's like a more brownie tone or like a brick red and it's just so smooth and nice on the lips that's really pretty yeah I guess it's more brown than red but I'm keeping this <laughs> This one I think is another one of my favorites, the Too Faced, um, what were these called? Like Sweet Peach something, then they got sued by Tatcha because apparently they stole like the packaging, I don't know. But this is the shade Breakfast Club. It's a beautiful bright red. It smells like peaches. I think I've used this once. Oh, yes. That's my favorite kind of red. I'm keeping this for sure, although they are discontinued. Um, then I have a bunch of Aveda ones, which like honestly look like very old. <laughs> they still smell fine, but I don't know. Let's see. So this one is the shade Vanadinite. It's like a shimmery red, if you can see that. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. It looks very metallic. I think I can pass this one on actually. It still feels and smells fine, so I'll see if my friend wants that one. Um, I also have another Aveda one in the shade Canna. This one is more my speed. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. These Aveda lipsticks are so creamy and pigmented. I think they're like, out of all their makeup, the lipsticks are the best and the lip liners. Everything else is like kind of very natural and like, I don't know, not the best. <laughs> but I really like this Canna shade. And the last, no, I have two more. This one is the shade Goji Berry. That looks pretty also. Oh, that's more like a blue tone red as opposed to canna, which is more orangey. These are so pretty. And they still have like that minty kind of smell. 
Uh, this last one is Cherry Bud. This was in my project pen last year, so you may remember it, although I only wore it like twice. <laughs> it's like one of these brick reds again. I do remember I liked it, though, when I did wear it. So, I mean, and look how much is left. Like, not a lot. So, I feel like I need to keep that one. And if you're wondering, this is like, so all the Aveda lipsticks come like this. I actually don't know if they still do, because I haven't, I used to work at Aveda, if you didn't know. So that's why I have a lot of Aveda things. Um, I don't know if they still make them like this, but they're kind of just like this ugly, like refill. And then you're supposed to get one of these cases for it. So I have one case. <laughs> Um, so that's why this one looks different. Um, oh, this is another favorite that I'm never getting rid of because now it has, like, memories tied to it. It's the MAC, um, matte lipstick in the shade Proud to be Canadian. So it was a special, like, limited edition one that came out for Canada Day. And it's a beautiful blue tone red. And... Now it's tradition that I wear this every Canada Day. <laughs> and like before the pandemic, my like hometown, we have this big like Canada Day party and I wore this and all my friends were like, oh, can I wear that too? So we all wore the same lipstick. It was really cute. So I'm never getting rid of this. Basically, that's my story. <laughs> um, this one is from YSL. This is the Rouge Pure Couture 01. Uh, this is a mini, I think, or like a deluxe size, yeah. This one looks like another, oh, that's so pretty. Another blue tone red, but it's different from, <laughs> well, it's first of all not a matte lipstick, so it's more creamy. And I really love that one too. These all look so similar. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not doing good. Well, I didn't really say this was going to be a declutter. It's just a swatching video to remind me of what I have. Um, yeah, but I'm not doing well. So this is a Bite Multi Stick in the shade Mochi. This is maybe not red. It's more, no, I guess it's red, this one. It has a bit of like a plum tone to it. It's very similar to whatever this was. Oh, this was the NARS. So I don't think I need to keep this because first of all, do they even make these anymore? I don't know. And I prefer the formula of the NARS yeah, so I can pass this one on if anyone wants it. I'm making like a bag of makeup for my friend when I whenever I see her so she can look at it, <laughs> see if she likes it. Um, this is a Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Matte in the shade M401. Is that the shade? I don't know. This is like a, this was a Sephora, either a Sephora favorites kit or a point perk that I got this in. Oh, that's another blue tone red that I like. Damn. The, mm, it looks the most similar to this, um, this one from Aveda, but that I'm getting rid of, so. <laughs> And this one has like shimmer in it. So yeah, I'll keep this one. Uh, this one is another mini from Shis Shiseido. The Rouge Rouge. That's what it's called, Rouge Rouge. <laughs> in the shade Ruby Copper. Where did I get this? I think I got this from Influencer, I believe. And I remember really liking it. 
That's beautiful. I don't know why this is called Rouge Copper. Maybe because it has... Does it have a sheen? Because that is not coppery to me. That's really pretty. I'm keeping it. And the last one, which I'm definitely not getting rid of, even though it's just a little tiny one, it's a Tom Ford um, lip color in the shade Scarlet Rouge. Look at, I don't even want to swatch this. It just looks so beautiful. But it, it's not like a, one of those bright reds that I really love. It's more like, okay, I don't know. I thought that was going to be a lot deeper, but it's more sheer. But I'm, I'm not getting rid of it because I haven't used it on my lips yet. And I want to test the Tom Ford lipstick formula because it's so expensive. So I'm keeping this one. <laughs> so out of all of those, I only got rid of three. These ones here. But it's something. Still something. So yeah, and I just got lipstick all over my pajamas. So that's everything. I don't know. I don't know what this video was. <laughs> if you were hoping for a declutter, I mean, I'm not going to put that in the title, so you won't hope for it, I guess. But yeah, I, don't, I only got rid of three. And a lot of these I know look the same. But I need to test them some more. So... Basically what I do, like, if you haven't seen my other videos, usually my shop, my stash is kind of like the time where I get to know my products more, like, individually and see which ones I really like, which ones I can get rid of. So until, like, these get pulled into the shop, my stash or, like, a panning project, I'm keeping them around because I want to get more use out of them. I want to test them out. Like I said, I bought most of these with my own money, so I want to get my money's worth. So anyway, that was all my red <laughs> lip products. I guess you can see like which are my favorite kind of reds by now. And yeah, I definitely don't need to buy any more red lipsticks. I am on a red lip product no buy, that's for sure. So yeah, we'll just see how this goes and I don't know. Yeah, that's my video. <laughs> so I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!